how can you detect anomalies in financial activities in the sequence of payments of transactions? So uh, anomalies in, in transaction, it's, it's, it's really the classic way to, to, detect, to detect fraud. And I think if we look at you know, legacy solutions, what used to be on the market uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago. So probably 15 years ago, you wouldn't be able to profile a user. You won't be able to understand how your user behaves in certain situations. Then became then came uh, let's say ten years ago came out solutions that were able to allow you to create some types of profiling. So you were able to take let's say certain payment methods or certain MCC codes or certain activities and profile those for the specific user and then write rules based on the profile user. Uh, what we're doing today with with Unit Twenty One is basically we we allow you to run rules. With pretty much any look back period on your historical data that you want to do, and by doing that, you no longer need to manually create those user profiles because we already have your historical data, and the way our rules work, our rule range engine work is that it knows how to go back and look at the activity, the specific activity that you try to detect and understand how this user been interacting so far. So for example, if you try to flesh out um, maybe let's say a customer who suddenly starts deposit way too, many, way too much cash, injecting cash into the system. It's very easy to use unit 21 to understand how historically he was doing that. Mm -hmm.